There's this part at the end of Hamlet in which Rosencrantz and Guildenstern know that they are about to die. Right before they do, they meet a bunch of actors. And to those actors, Guildenstern says, I'm talking about death, and you've never experienced that. And you cannot act that. You die a thousand casual deaths with none of that intensity which squeezes out life, and no blood runs cold anywhere. Because even as you die, you know that you will come back, just with a different hat. But no one gets up after death. There is no applause. There is only silence and some secondhand clothes, and that is death. But actors haven't experienced death. They've experienced a lot of things, and that's how acting works. Rainbow says that when you want to act sad, you remember something sad that happened to you. Rainbow says that when you're playing a tree, you should remember a time that you were a tree. I've been sad, and I have been a tree, but I've never been dead. Or if I have been, I don't remember it. Sanity says that we're all, we all have died, and we've been reborn into our current bodies. But I don't remember it, so I don't think that's true. Or even if it is true, I don't think it matters. I should talk to Rainbow about it. She'll know whether I died or not. In any case, there's this special class at Tope that no other acting school can teach you. It teaches you how to pretend to be dead. Most other places just say, lie down with a knife in your armpit and don't laugh. They call laughing corpsing, I think. Because corpses laugh, I guess. I've never been around one. They must be funny. But no. There's something different here at Tope. You see, life is all about the vibrations of the universe and connecting the out with the in. But Death is an absence of vibrations. Death is the universe sending a signal to you and you not picking up. And there's no voicemail because you're dead. Maybe there's voicemail. I don't know, I've never been dead. I should ask Sanadu if there's voicemail. In any case, there's a technique that Rainbow has to silence all vibrations to snuff out the flame in your heart, to make it still for a moment. It's a little bit like death, I think. I remember it. She told us all to lie down on the floor and be still and be silent. And all our awareness of the universe should crumble away. She said some words then, but I don't remember because I think I was dead. Or at least I think I think I was dead. I don't think there's a difference. So whenever I'm playing a tree and someone chops me down, I know what it's like. So it's more realistic. I still laugh sometimes, even as a corpse, because I think that's what they do. But it's still closer than anyone else in the world who hasn't been a taupe. You learn how to do this sort of thing there. Because you know that after death there is no applause, there is no vibrations, there's only silence and some secondhand clothes. Rainbow says that through acting you can live forever. I don't know if that's a metaphor or not. I don't think it is.